What's going on, everybody? <laughs> it's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. Welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love y'all, and thank you so much for the love and support. Um, this reading is all about you, Sagittarius, what's coming towards you. I hope to provide some love, clarity, and light to you on your journeys. It is timeless. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that bell if it resonates. And it won't with everybody, and that's cool, too. But let's get into it and find out. What is going on, Sagittarius? It's your girl, Dana, and I'm here with another reading. I'm going to start. We're going to see what's coming towards you guys at this time. This reading is timeless. We're going to start with the energy and then get into the tarot and see where it takes us, okay? Spirit of the universe, I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What, what is the energy for Sagittarius at this time, Spirit? What is the energy for Sagittarius at this time? We seek your guidance, your love, and your divine clarity, Spirit. Sagittarius, what is their energy? So we have inspiration. I'm only going to grab one card for the energy. So Spirit's calling you to be inspired or perhaps you're feeling very inspired at this time. It says be open to a world of endless possibilities. So we have some great things coming towards you is the energy that I feel from Spirit at this time. I'm going to put that to the side and we're going to get into what's coming towards you with the tarot. Spirit, what's coming towards Sagittarius at this time? Thank you. What is coming towards Sagittarius at this time, Spirit? What's coming towards Sagittarius, Spirit? Two more cards, please. What's coming towards Sagittarius, Spirit? Two more cards. One more card, Spirit. At least one more card. If you give me a few here. Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Hmm. So we have a lot of reversals. What I'm just seeing off bat is that many of you aren't in a very happy place at this time, probably feeling very uninspired, which is why spirit is calling you to step into a place of um, inspiration, you know, being open to a world of possibilities, because right now you're kind of closed off. We're going to start here with the six of swords, I'm um, sorry, six of wands in reverse, right? This is usually a card that is... Um, bringing forth celebration and conquering over trials and, and being celebrated, not just for yourself, but within the community and things like that. So we have that in reverse. Then we also have the two of cup coins in reverse, which is two of pentacles, right? Not feeling balanced in your heart, in your spirit, in your finances, in your family life. Um, we have the sun card. You're not very happy at this particular time. We have the King of Cups in reverse, which tells me that um, you may be struggling in a lot of departments in regards to emotions, not um, having enough protection for yourself and your spirit emotionally wise. And then we also have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So spirit is calling you to get into your passion. Again, this is inspiration, taking action towards what you want, towards something that you're passionate about. Right. So this is like why spirit wants you to get inspired about what's coming. You may be keeping yourself back in a lot of ways, um, not allowing your situations to inspire you to make changes that you need to make. Let's get some clarity cards. OK, spirit clarify six of wands in reverse for Sagittarius, please. Six of wands in reverse for Sagittarius. Oh, and also 
at the bottom of the deck, I noticed that we have the page of coins. So again, there's this new journey. And I feel like, you know, you found some inspiration to start a new journey here with the page of coins, which is a part of the energy as well. I feel like this is a good representation of you being inspired to start something new, um, but being also held back, feeling unbalanced, not being happy where you are, um, finding an emotional balance in all of this, right? Because we even have the knight of coins underneath it. So we have a lot of you wanting to take action towards certain things I feel like more in the space of career and finances than anything else at this time with we've seen the energy of the page of coins and the knight of coins in reverse. I mean, not in they're not in reverse. Sorry, they're actually upright. I don't know why I said in reverse, but with that energy. Um, let's go six of wands in reverse. Please clarify for Sagittarius. Because all of this is like energy of business um, not being fulfilled emotionally having a hard time balancing and just being not being happy with where you are right now. Um, but spirit wants you to get inspired, wants you to make a choice and a decision with where you want to move forward. Anything for the six of wands in reverse spirit for Sagittarius. Six of Wands in Reverse Spirit. Yeah. What's stopping your celebration with the Five of Cups in Reverse is you not moving forward. You may have had some certain things fall apart and you've been concentrating too much on what's fallen apart and Spirit wants you to recognize that there are two cups still behind you. Now you're in a place where you're able to see that or at least where Spirit wants to show you that. But if you're not, it's because you're refusing to let go of past results, past situations, maybe things that have held you back in your past. You're refusing to let go, which is stopping you from celebrating anything else for the six of wands spirit in reverse for Sagittarius. We have the king of cups this time upright. So we have the king of cups twice here energy once in, in reverse, which is re representing the really root issue of the situation, which is that your emotions aren't in check. A lot of energy. This is a very you're very emotional at this time um, and conflicted with the emotions that you're feeling. But spirit wants you to be present, wants you to appear as the king of cups. Um, because the, the source is that you're not tapping into those emotions. You may be ignoring feelings that you have about how you want to move forward, how you want to proceed. Maybe even thinking that you can't move forward um, due to something emotionally holding you back. You could not be believing yourself. You could also be allowing the beliefs, beliefs of others to infiltrate your beliefs. Again, holding you back from your happiness, from moving from your passion, from taking action towards what it is that you truly want to do. Clarify the two of coins in reverse spirit for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of coins here. I saw some cards flip over here. Yeah, ace of cups in reverse, not seeing the new that that a new cycle is trying to occur here, right? Again, because you're not balanced, you're not able to end a cycle that would lead you to a new beginning with the Ace of Cups in reverse, still being held back by illusions, um, holding on to certain things. Again, we have the water, we have the crab, which is like um, reminds me of the cancer sign. Again, super emotional with the water, um, leading you to some illusions and misconceptions you may have. Um, we have here the Four of Cups in reverse, Again, not seeing the gift that spirit is trying to present to you, right? You weren't seeing it. You may be seeing it a bit now. However, you're still holding back. So many of you have been inspired to do something new, to start a new project, to maybe go in another direction in certain things that have to do with finances, but your emotions are holding you back. Your feelings are holding you back from taking steps forward to go to what you're truly um, take, taking action towards what you're truly passionate about. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, not being able to leave behind, again, emotions. So this is something emotional that you're going through. Um, it could be 
again, I do have this energy of, you know, maybe thinking of what others are going to think, what others think you should do. But spirit says that the inspiration that you're receiving is from spirit. It's not for others to understand or to advise you on, right? This is your path. This is your journey. This is your life. What is spirit calling you to do so that you're able to be your best self? Other people aren't going to understand the message. Other people aren't going to be able to see the vision because it's not for them. Clarify the sun card in reverse for Sagittarius spirit. Yeah, not having the strength to move forward, not learning the lessons that you need to in order to move forward. If you look at the strength card upright, you can see that she's tamed this lion and bringing it with her. This is her taming all the lessons. This is taming her emotions, finding the strength to move forward as a new horizon begins. This is in reverse. It's stopping you from your happiness. You're not learning what you need to learn, or at least you're um, not adhering to the lessons. Page of Swords, not taking action towards what it is you truly want to do, what it is that you truly want to manifest, not trusting your intuition and the inspiration Spirit's giving you. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse here, Spirit. Yep. Other people's opinions are emotionally blocking you. You feel like your back's against the wall with what you want to do because you have all these responsibilities. It could be people, it could be circumstances, situations that making you feel like you can't go out this door without a fight. And many of you are avoiding this um, altercation that you feel might happen, this emotional disruption that may happen because you're changing, you have changed and you'd like to move in a different direction. And maybe those around you truly don't see what it is that you see. So you feel like everybody's opinions are against you, even though you're being inspired to do just that. Spirit, what else for? Knight of the lover's card in reverse. So many of you, this is a relationship that's holding you back. It may be your partner, um, somebody that you are in some a long-term relationship with holding you back. This could be even self-love. You don't believe in yourself enough to be able to do it. Maybe your your lack of belief in yourself is what's rattling in your brain and making up all these excuses as to why you cannot. Ten of swords in reverse, not being able to get over maybe some certain things that have happened that you felt betrayed in. The Empress, again, you're feeling cut off from that inspiration. You're not planting new seeds. You're not in a place of fertility. Um not really trusting your power to manifest, right? With the Empress in reverse. And then we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Perhaps, um, again, saying that this situation could involve more than one person. Um, again, not feeling you're able to celebrate to take that next step. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, Spirit. Because this is what Spirit wants you to do. To take action towards your passions despite what others think. Take action taking action from the inspiration you're receiving from spirit despite nobody else can that anybody else can see it I feel like you're being held back by a lot of other people's opinions spirit's not talking to them they're talking to you and once you step into it and you ask spirit your spirit guide team for assistance you'll start to see that things will fall into place people will come to help you but you've had to have the faith in order for that to happen, clarify the Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords for Sagittarius here, Spirit. Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're not following your bliss. You're not, you're not entering that Queen of Pentacles energy here with it being in reverse. What else, Spirit? Which is, you know, it's the Queen of Pentacles. She ha has it all together. You don't feel like you have it all together, but you don't need it to be all together. Right. You need to come out of holding yourself back. Right. Two of swords in reverse. If I show you this fog is everybody's ideas and everything that you're blindfolded to. You're holding yourself back. You're holding yourself back to what spirit has for you. You're holding yourself back to what the universe has for you, what your guides have for you. And spirit needs you to come out of this energy. Again, this is about you being inspired to do something else. A lot of you, your past is holding you back with the six of cups in reverse. People from your past, situations from your past, maybe even past beliefs implanted by people in your past. Like this could go all the way back to your childhood that people always told you that you had to live your life a certain way. Now you want to you know, push back a little bit and start doing things your own way. But because of these seeds that were planted long ago, you're not, again, feeling confident, 
right? There's a transformation happening within you and spirit wants you to allow yourself to receive this transformation, allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to take a risk. I mean, we've got one life, Sagittarius. We've got one life. And are you going to look in the next 40 years and look back and be happy that you lived your life for everybody else, that you did what everybody else thought was, was best for you instead of following yourself? You're, you won't. Most, most people don't on their deathbeds think about the things that they didn't do, not the things that they did. They have regrets about what they never took a chance on. They have regrets about never living the life that they chose because they were living it for others the whole entire time. You do not want to get to an age where you have maybe 10, 20 years of your life for you to decide, well, now I get to live. You have to choose life for yourself every day and choose yourself every day and what that happiness looks like for you. Not saying that if you have a family, you shouldn't take into consideration, but you should be able to plan and find a focus. And if you can't see it for yourself, ask spirit to release, it, reveal it to you, sorry, to reveal it to you, to help you, to assist you, to send you what you need in order to conquer these things so that you can have the life that you want because you are the manifester in your life. And it seems like you're not really tapping into that. You don't really understand that. You're not seeing that in yourself. So spirit has been trying, sending you signals, trying to inspire you to do just that. But it seems like you're really not listening, Sagittarius. What is your divine guidance for Sagittarius at this time, spirit? What is your divine guidance for Sagittarius at this time? So this card is this number 13. One plus three is four. Um, one minus three is zero. All numbers that you could um, probably have seen. If you see there's something going on, right? That, that, that green light in the distance or it feels like your heart chakra, right? Look how dim it is and how far back it is in that darkness. I feel like spirit's calling you intuitively to really look into your heart, to... And use your crown chakra, open your mind up, look into your heart, look into your spirit and, and trust this process. I'm going to go to the book. We're going to see what exactly it's, it says. So it's opening, right? Didn't I say, <laughs> didn't I say that? It says your intuition and psychic connection is open and flowing, allowing you to access higher realms of knowledge and understanding. Sometimes when we receive guidance or information from these realms, it can be a bit confusing or unclear. There's a lot of information moving through your subconscious that your conscious mind has to process. It does get easier in time. The more that you use it, the stronger it becomes. Just remember, this open connection is how you are naturally meant to operate. You are now in direct communication with other realities and your higher self. And that higher self is trying to inspire you guys to move forward and take action towards what it is that you're passionate about. Taking action, driving towards where it is that you want to be with the Knight of Swords energy, towards what you're passionate about with the Knight of Wands energy. That's what spirit's calling you to do. Um... This may be new for you. It may be scary for you, Sagittarius, but it's time for you to step into that purpose. I'm going to leave this energy right here where it is. No extension will be provided. Please give this video a like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's a great energetic tip towards the channel. Also, um, if you would like to leave a donation, you can do so through the PayPal link below. I love you. I believe in you. You've got the Sagittarius. Step into your purpose. Allow your guides to help you. Ask for help. Remember that they cannot go against your free will. You have to ask, you have to seek it out, and you have to accept it. And you also have to believe that it's possible. Okay? I love you. I believe in you. You've got this. And I'll talk to y'all soon.